Ejection fans, today we're going to do a quick talk about ejection charges. George Paul on Facebook asked about ejection charges. So we're going to take a quick look at some different ways to put ejection charges together. So if we're not going to use the charge well, then we need to do something with our EMAT, our ejection charge. There are a couple of methods that I like to use. The first method is to use a centrifuge tube, and these are really inexpensive. You can get an entire pack of 50 or 100 of those on Amazon really easily. I'll post a link to those too. Uh, what you do is, very simple, take one, drill out the bottom with a small hole just big enough to pass through your E-match. Then thread the E-match down through the hole until the head is at the bottom. Put your black powder in there. Fill up the rest with dog barf to keep the powder at the very bottom. Cap it and put a little bit of tape and you've got a completed E-match. Uh, I do like to also maybe put a little bit of tape down around the bottom, around the wire, just to hold that in place and keep any powder from falling out the bottom. So that's a great method. Uh, these tend to blow off the top rather than explode, so that works pretty well. You can direct the charge uh, if you need to. It's not perfect, but it works pretty well that way. So my favorite way to make a deployment charge uh, that's loose and not in a charge well is to use a glove. Just take any old glove, latex or otherwise, cut a finger off, very simple. We'll weigh out our powder. I use a little post-it, fold it in half, open back up. You can use it like a little funnel. I'm using a scale here that's accurate down to a tenth of a gram. Accuracy is pretty important here. Measure out your powder. You can pretty much use whatever you need. This is a gram. There's one gram of powder. <clears throat> Open up this glove. Pour the powder in. Take your E-match. Put the head down in there. I feel that there's no need for any uh, dog bar for filler. The E-match is directly touching the powder in the bottom of this. And then you can give it a little twist. And you can seal this up either with some tape uh, or my preference here is to put a zip tie around it. And that's a completed ejection charge. Very easy to do. Uh, I believe that a zip tie is best, one of the small zip ties around there tight because it'll hit the head of the E-match. It's not going to come loose very easily uh, versus using tape, which you may have some trouble with uh, getting that around tightly. Let's give it a try. Here's a little bit of tape. Depending on how long that glove finger is, it may or may not fit great, but let's just give this a try and see what happens. So wrap that around there. I guess we can also tape this completely shut. And this should work pretty well. My preference again is to use that zip tie to make sure it's really secure, but this seems pretty good. It's not moving at all. Uh, very inexpensive. Uh, the glove finger, you got five out of, you get five out of one glove. Uh, very little tape, so the cost is very minimal compared to the centrifuge tubes. Remember to test your ejection charges first, make sure they work. I think you'll find that this method works quite well every time. That's all for today. If you appreciate the video, click like, subscribe to future videos, leave a comment down below, and give us some ideas for more videos.